Hey singers, I'm Sarah Lieb and this is SingingTV.com. Together you and I were making singing simple. The last episode covered the treble clef or the higher uh, spectrum of notes that we write down and now we're going to cover the bass clef, the lower spectrum. Um, what we do in order to show you that we're in the bass clef is right and bass clef and it looks like this. So, you've got this little dot that happens on the F or the fourth line up. Sorry about the dog bark. Anyway, that dot on the fourth line up, we're going to circle it around, come all the way, almost all the way down, put two dots here. So remember, we discussed first line, second line, third line, fourth line, and fifth line. It's going to be the same exact thing here. Don't forget your two dots here also surrounding the F clef. So let's get to lines and spaces. Ooh, there we go. Lines and spaces. So the lines in the bass clef are going to be different than they are in the treble clef. That's really important to know. So we are going to start with G, B, D, F, and A. Those are the lines. First line G, second line B, third line D, fourth line F, fifth line A. The spaces, of course, are different. They are A, C, E, and G. And remember, you're just going line to space, line to space, line to space. So if we're starting from the bottom line, G, end of our musical alphabet, goes back up to A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and A. So it does go in order. Hopefully that makes sense to you. If you know any piano or any other instrument, you'll be able to make that parallel. So of course, our spaces don't spell face like they do in the treble class. So we need like a mnemonic device to help us out. Let's do that for our lines. Um, Gosh, what was my little mnemonic device? For uh, treble clef, it's EGBDF, every good boy does fine, and face. For bass clef, GBBFA, oh, I remember, of course. Good boys do fine always. Kind of keeps the play on. Every good boy does fine. Good boys do fine always. Hopefully you can remember that to help you with the line. And then with the spaces, A, C, E, G, we say all cows eat grass. Of course, you don't need to use these specific mnemonic devices. You can use whichever one you want. You can make them up. Uh, but these are kind of, you know, whatever kid studying piano gets told, and so that's what sticks in my head. Make up your own. doesn't matter to me. Either way, if I then put a note in a space, here I've got, boom, this note right there. What you would have to do, at least at first, is count up. You see, that's a space, so I'm going to use the spaces. First space, second space, third space, fourth space, that's A, C, E, G, or all cows eat grass. So that's going to make that note a G. If we did the same thing here on this line, on this second line, um, then you would use the lines you'd say, every, uh, sorry, not every good boy does fine. Good boys do fine always. Good boys, that would be a B. Of course, the important part is not being able to sort of use this as an answer key, but it is to be able to get some note cards, write these things down, I'll show you how right now, in case you didn't see the other treble clef episode. I'm just writing five lines on a note card. I wrote in my little bass clef, and then I'm going to say, okay, here's a D, sorry, an F, <laughs> looking at the treble clef and I'd write an F on the back. So hopefully you can see here what I've written. You've got an F. On the back you've written an F. If you do that for every note, it's going to be easy for you. You'll basically be able to memorize it. You'll know, oh, that fourth line up, you won't have to think G, B, D, F, A. You'll just go fourth line up, F. 
and eventually you'll be able to read music just like you can put together words without any sort of problem. That's the bass clef. Of course, while this is important, it's the memorization, the writing these things down on like a note card, and practicing over and over and over and over and over until you get it really quick and it makes it easier for you. That's really where your proficiency will get better and better and better. I'm Sarah Lee. This is SingingTV.com. Together, you and I, we're making singing simple.